I'm going to have to get up and go get another drink. These guys. Yo. Are Yo. Can Whoa. hear you. Hey. Okay, sweet. Just we hear you, but we don't see you. Yeah, we hear you, don't see you. And you got- we're up. There, there you go. There you go. Here we go. Oh, Man, sweet fucking lights. pad, bro. Yeah, this is our jam space. Oh, Hell no, you yeah. Don't. This episode is brought to you by Inspired Vapor Company. Um, inspiredvaporcompany.com is a father-son partnership and um, they have three locations in Saskatchewan, in Melfort, Prince Albert and Humboldt and their goal is to help as many people as possible quit cigarettes. Yeah, a couple of stand-up guys there, Kevin and Blaine Tates. Um, They're there to help you guys if you want to transition from cigarettes to vaping. I think vaping's better than cigarettes. Um, and they're the guys to talk to about it. So go to inspiredvaporcompany.com and use the promo code MOOSE10 at your checkout and you'll get 10% off. Action. What's up, we're Fast Hatchet. My name is Len. I'm the drummer. Hey, I'm Paul. I play bass. I'm Ken on keys. Dave, guitar. This is episode 89 of The Sit Down. Hell yeah. Perfect. That'll work, boys. Welcome and thank you. Yeah, it's more like a bada 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 bada. <laughs> Fucking yeah. nothing too crazy. <laughs> so yes, welcome to the show, you guys. So I we had this booked for quite some time, I think, so far ago that I don't even remember how I stumbled across you guys, to be honest. Like I think it was through Instagram. I don't even remember. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I just during, reached out that way. It was during the lockdown for sure. I think you followed us on Instagram and then we, you were like sweet Rex. And then we just started talking. Yeah. Yeah. That could be, could very well be. Where are you guys from? We're from Victoria. BC. BC. Oh, right on. Yeah. So can couple, you guys. A couple of hippies out on the West coast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys have been working on an album recently, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we recorded three songs so far. Nice. And I got a good chance to listen to those. Those are the three on Spotify right now, right? That's yeah. correct. Yeah. Hell yeah, boys. Congrats on that. Yeah, Very we're, good. We're pretty stoked about it. We're hoping to record some more in the future, but uh, Dave here just had a baby, so... Uh, like two weeks ago. <clears throat> yeah, my vagina's just, you know, I was just it's just giving up now. Oh, so we should yeah. be good. <laughs> well, once we've got that sorted out, we should do some more recording. There you yeah. go. You got to go C section, dude. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's weird on well, stage now. You know, I like when the foreskin hangs down after the baby comes <laughs> out. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> That's you can edit that out too. If you want. <laughs> I can keep that shit in there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like Congratulations. Let's see the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That's why we're not all on the same couch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right on. One. Lead singer, lead singer. He's still different. Yeah. Is it uh, boy or girl? Boy. Yeah. He right. named him Way- yeah. Waylon James. Waylon James. Congratulations, man. Right yeah. on. Is that like your your first child, or do you have another one? No, I've got a I've got another one, a four year old. So that's yeah. uh, it's number two. Heck yeah, man! Cool. Yeah, yeah we're party. staying at. I'm staying at one, dude. One's one's yeah. enough for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm good with you. Two. two is I good. actually support everybody one kid half the time. That's the yeah. best way to go. <laughs> it's great for the kid. Yeah, not at all. Right yeah. on. So tell us, uh, like for like, I'm a, not a veteran in you guys at all. Like we said, I just stumbled across you guys through Instagram or whatever. So can you tell us and the listeners at home a little bit of about yourselves, like about the band, right? What style you guys are? What can we expect? I think it's, uh, I don't know. We got a, like we all, uh, Leonard, Paul and I grew up on a, on, uh, 
a small island called Haida Gwaii or Queen Charlotte Island. So we always we played as you know kids together kind of thing. And and uh, for me, it was always kind of blues and rock. And you know we all, we only had Rock 101 for a radio station. So Leonard's old man, he was really big into classic rock. So we kind of grew up on that. And uh, so it kind of veered out from that. We you know being in our 40s almost, I think you know a lot of Metallica. All that kind of shit. So a lot of riffs, a lot of a lot of heavier, right. heavier, heavier uh, kind of tunes was always our background growing up. Yeah, a lot of grunge and stuff. Yeah, and Alice in Chains and, and all that punk yeah, and a bit of hair metal, hair metal, <laughs> yeah, hair metal sprinkled in there. So yeah, we uh, for us, I don't, I don't know, Paul, Paul you like to call it uh, blues rock with yeah. jazz inlays because he plays piano yeah. like a dream for us. Yeah, yeah. right. It's, okay. It's, 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 Magician, yeah, it's pretty good. He's uh, got he's got the fast yeah. fingers. That's right, yeah. yeah. You yeah. should see the ladies at the show, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Big line up right right below him, just staring up like a couple of deer, you know, in the headlights. <laughs> Needless yeah. to say his wife's very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story, that's how I found it. I don't know how to how bad that the action. Those are fast fingers. <laughs> yeah. Just the one big drool coming down, you know. Yeah, yeah. she was key struck for sure. Yeah. Yeah, right. Odd. But yeah, um, it's a, kind of an odd style. It's you know we're we're still I think over the years I think we're still kind of working it out, working what our what kind of style we, we would be. You know what I mean? Right. I, I think play with any band it evolves over time too. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, this is the fourth version of this band too, so we've gone through all kinds of ups and downs. Yeah. Right. Um. So what's a... <laughs> Sorry, I missed that last part. I say we're back to the original. I think we started in 2011, 2012. Yeah. 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 And then life happened. Oh, yeah, man. Broke Are you guys doing anything like any live shows lately? We, we just had our first one at post COVID here a couple of weeks ago at the Victoria Event Center in town. We don't have anything scheduled right now, but uh, it's just kind of touch and go right now. There's not a lot happening. So whenever we get an opportunity, yeah, yeah, for sure. So how did as well? Right. So how did the gig go? Oh, great. We had a great time. We had a great time. I took the next day off. I slept like I was an old man that was just trying to play a rock show like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had an entire COVID to prepare too, so we were super tight. Everything was going great. It's just unfortunate. It's it's going to be nice when people can stand up again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. It wouldn't speak easy. They were all sitting down at tables. It was kind of neat, though. Yeah. Very <laughs> hard fucking wailing away, and it looks like a little jazz audience or something. You know, and that's yeah. why we had the jazz in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. that's interesting that they're so they're so they it said they people can't stand. Is that what you said? Not yet, but they actually just released their uh, taking all those restrictions away here at the end of the month. Yeah. Perfect. So we look forward to our next rock show where everyone can actually dance and rock out. For the fire oh, yeah. might have been there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're in um we're in Saskatchewan here and there's been I've went to a few events the last few weeks and and base there's like some tables and chairs and stuff, but there's still like that front stage is is wide open. So there's been a lot of people. No mosh pits or anything like that, but I mean you got the crowd there and everyone's cheering yeah, and yeah. having well, a they good wouldn't time even right let now. me stand up and talk to one of our guests. They told us we weren't wearing masks and we had to go sit down. Are you <laughs> are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, this guy came to see me. I'm just thanking him for that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Is it like proof of vaccination to enter as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. All that stuff. Well, oh, that's wow. what, it is, what it is here, too. That's like fucking worldwide, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting that way. Yeah. Awesome, you get guys. Your oh, yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot, it was a lot of fun. I hadn't been on a stage. I only got back with the, with the band about a year and a half ago. I don't think I had been on a stage for eight years. So it was, it was pretty good time. Yeah, before COVID, we were doing a show every month or so. Yeah. And we okay. had a different drummer. And uh, yeah, we were we were pumping pretty good. And then so many people moved too with COVID, right? Like the guy that was booking us mostly, he <laughs> left the venue. You doesn't even yeah. just stay well, yeah. <laughs> the venue got shut down, closed its doors, and it's you know, one of those yeah. three, greasy taverns where we fit in pretty well, so it's kind of unfortunate that it's shut, yeah, it's shut down. Actually, right when COVID hit, right when they closed everything down, that same week, we were supposed to play in a Battle of the Bands 
at a really big venue here, it would have been our biggest show. It would have been crazy. And we probably would have went through. The other bands are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so we are bad. <laughs> we smiled, though, but that's right when the camera came down. Everything was COVID. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah, holy fuck, hey. So it's been like though since the pandemic, so it's been pretty fucking quiet up until a week ago or a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yeah, it all got started about August, uh when bands started playing it again. Yeah. yeah. So so it's getting better. And now once they release this in October, there hopefully it's really gonna get slammed. Yeah. There's only so many places in Victoria that you can play it. Yeah. It's not very big here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the whole How many island people in Victoria. In, in Victoria, 50, yeah, three hundred and fifty thousand or so in the thing that encompasses the Victoria. Victoria itself is a small little city, and there's about ninety thousand. Eighty-five. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. but the, the the surrounding areas that you would call Victoria, there's about three hundred thousand. Dude, but I love how you're like, yeah, it's not that big. I love how you're like, it's not that big, and we're here in little Buttfuck, Saskatchewan, and our town has a hundred <laughs> people, dude. A hundred people. One hundred. Oh wow! Well, we grew up in a town that only had three hundred people in it, so yeah. Yeah. we're we're used, we're used to that shit, man. We know all about it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. when Lenny and I were sixteen, his dad came over and he put a bass in my hands and drums in his hands, and that's how we started playing music. You know, like there's nothing. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. A town, nothing, right? So that's what we. That's all we had was music. And before we were legal, we were playing in bars and stuff. We were playing cover songs, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that, that's how we kind of got started. And Dave was always on the guitar, ripping around. He lived right nearby. <laughs> yeah, just getting baked, just getting baked, playing fucking, you know, playing along with the Jimi Hendrix blues over and over, you know, fucking 40 <laughs> minute songs as high as a kite, you know. <laughs> Maybe after just you're done, life. 13, 14 years old, you can't even move your hands to that. You, you don't even know any other duties. You don't want to change. <laughs> Playing Can't You See and all that shit. Freaking A. Yeah. Right on. So this is the new jam session? Or the new jam area? Yeah, our place yeah. closed down. And we lucked out into this one. It costs us pretty much the same. We get an extra hour. And these lights, as you can tell, as I'm talking loudly, are voice activated. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So oh, we turn the right. lights off. And every jam is just a beauty in here. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to do a quadratic sound plug, too. Yeah, yeah, this is quadratic sound. That's what we play. Mm-hmm. They actually put on shows here too. So they've got a brass band coming in on Sunday. Yeah, wow. nice. yeah, two actually. So the two brass bands touring together yeah. coming to play here. I just might come to that. That's going to be a pretty wicked sound. In here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dope when you're playing because you know, like you kick into a solo or something. Like if Kit's playing right out, really quiet, right off the like a, a gloomy, moody kind of thing. All the lights are like they'll go dark red and then fucking bang into you know hit the first note and then the thing just starts flashing. It's, it's pretty slick. <laughs> Freaking it's, it's, it's That's your a good own, idea. Your own little concert, you know. Yeah. You turn the lights up, yeah. you can't even tell other people are here. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I forgot who makes them, but the tech company on the floor above is the company that makes these things. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't know who they are. Oh, Limbic. Oh, Limbic. Limbic Media. That's awesome. We want some free ones, Limbic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah so crazy. all the so the three songs that you guys released, are they just all on streaming platforms or is there like a little EP out yeah, there? Or what's, the, what's the plan? Yeah, maybe once we do more. Yeah. It's not really worth it to do for just three songs. When we have seven, eight songs down, it might be worth actually producing something. One of the, one of the three songs I think is our our strongest, and then the other two are just ones we've just you know that we've been kind of tight with over the years. But we got yeah. we got better jams to punch out. We just we've just needed the time and everything right. to get sorted out. And then <clears throat> once you know once things get rolling again for us here, we'll we're gonna record some. We chose some of our simpler songs yeah. so we we'll get used to the recording process first. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right. Makes sense. We got some real bangers coming up. Look out for them. Yeah, they're coming. Freaking right. I was going to say, who's who? Uh, who's in charge of the writing of the songs then? I think we all are. Yeah. Dave writes okay. all the words. Yeah. He usually writes like all the, the chords and everything, the progression. And then he has lyrics. And then he comes to us with half a broken wing. And then <laughs> we try to make it. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So, <laughs> we're now we'll see if the bird will fly a lot of the time. We do something mediocre and we call that a song. <laughs> Yeah. So it's just like jam band it too, right? Yeah. Like, you know, we'll just be like, oh, playing on a riff and then building off that riff at the end of a jam and then out of that we make a song. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we make three songs and that turns into one song because yeah. most of it is junk. Yeah, and then the fucking recorder didn't work, so we forget all about it. And then uh, yeah, we forgot to bring someone it. Brought, forgot the batteries or something. We record most of our jam, so we always go back and listen to whatever we can salvage from it or whatever. Yeah, that's hilarious. I wanted to tell you guys, I feel like the the in her leathers is uh, dude, that one would have such a good music video, I think, like out of the three that are on Spotify, like if I was to pick one of those to do a music video for, not that I'm like anybody, like don't take my suggestion or anything, but I would say uh, in her leathers. You want to help us out to do one? Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. I'd be in a fucking music. I'll be the girl in her leathers if you want me to be. <laughs> that would be funny if it was just dancing and you just uh, put the waist down the whole time and you turn around and you, you got the beard in it. It would be fucking deadly. <laughs> just give it a sexy eye, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I definitely enjoyed it for sure. For sure. I love the, the guitar. I love everything about it. You guys, I think if you guys keep doing what it is that you're doing, um, fucking a man, I'm, I'm more than happy to help try and get the word out there and promote you guys. Well, definitely. That's, that's why we're here. It's yeah. That's just, exactly that's why, why we're here. here. Yeah, for sure. Well, we really appreciate you guys doing this and putting the time out for us. That's a uh, big thanks to you guys. Well, for us, it's just something different. This is cool for us. Yeah. Well, that that's how it started <laughs> with us too. It was cool <laughs> at the start. Now it's kind of like a job, <laughs> but yeah. but it's fun nonetheless. My, I, I'll tell you, the guests that we've had on this show, like a lot, this started pre-COVID, but we didn't really start getting guests on until COVID hit. But a lot of it is Zoom calls, right? So we've met all these awesome musicians and bands through Zoom. And now that Saskatchewan has kind of opened up, right, or let's say loosened up a little bit. I've been able to go out and see live concerts and the concerts that I'm hitting up are past guests on the show. It's been a right. fucking wild ride, dude. Like we've been hanging out with, uh, weapons, the hour hand, um, this seven, seven, this mile, sun. seven mile sun, the, the steadies. steadies. It's been just fucking unreal, dude. Like mm -hmm. all these, dead levy the other night like yeah. fuck me man it's been so much fun i'm like on cloud nine getting to meet like it, it's it's interesting because when we meet them in person it's like i we already know each other like we've right, known yeah, each other yeah, for yeah. so long because we've had that long form conversation already so then it's just like like hey, we're nice fucking see you again. yeah like hey bud how's it going yeah. Yeah, it's not like it's not awkward at all it's so much fun so are you guys, you two in a band together? Is that how you started or? Dude, we don't play any instruments no at, way. All, at all. No way. No No just got passion for the tunes. Yeah. Fucking A, man. Like so Mark yeah. owns Funky Moose Records, actually. So yeah. Funky Moose Records is an online record store, right? So you yeah. go ahead yeah. and talk well, about, well, tell, tell them what that's yeah he's like that's what it is it's an online record store yeah so. i started that in uh in in 2015 and um, cool. it it started growing and uh indie musicians reached out to me saying that hey we have this record out can you can you sell it for us well yeah of course uh we'll, we'll make something work and then joel and i have been friends forever and um uh i started a podcast in 2016 just by myself talking to industry uh, people like, you know, people at pressing plants and, um, people that run record labels and just really interview styles. Um, cool. but that took a lot more time than I anticipated and wanted. So I had a few episodes and then I quit that. And then Joel was a fan of, or is a fan of, uh, of podcasts, uh, mainly from comedians. Yeah, and I watch a lot of comedy podcasts on YouTube all the time so yeah and so we we started talking about well can we do something like this and i saw it as a kind of a marketing opportunity for the business and joel wanted to be famous so yeah, we, i uh, am famous i fucking am <laughs> famous bro fucking famous. Yeah, you want to <laughs> so we got together and uh grabbed the camera sat on the couch here and uh started talking into a camera and yeah we had happened. no clue what the hell we were doing no we were like fucking the first, I don't know, 10 episodes. We're literally Googling music news and talking about shit that happened the week of. 
Yeah, so we, it's us we, on the couch. And we read the headlines and then gave our opinions on, on the, the headline and then that's it, right? Do that for an hour a week. And um, then shout out to Paris Pick from Yellow, the, Knife. from Yellow Knife, reached out to us and was like, hey, do you want a musician on the show to talk about music? We we're like, yeah, fucking A, let's do it. Or White Horse. Anyway, one of the members. Paris so, Pick, though, we love you so much. I got to give her all the credit yep, for, for sure. where we are today. Without her, um, none of it would have happened. None of it, maybe? No? No, anyway. no, not none of it. That's um, not, I didn't know <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so then we had her on the show. And from there, it was just like through people that we've known through our lives, um, reaching out to them. They're musicians, like indie musicians. And like, hey, do you want to come do this thing and just talk about whatever the fuck? Um, and it just kind of grew into what it was. So we've been doing it over a year. Since then, we've helped a band out of Winnipeg press a record, their first EP, so Northern Royals out of Winnipeg. Yeah, um, you guys, put, we're, we follow those guys on uh, Instagram, and we got them from, from your uh, Instagram site. I remember when we were chatting. Right. You yeah, posted it up and I remember commenting because I listened to a couple of clips and it was like, fuck, these guys are deadly, man. Aren't they, they though? <laughs> yeah, for sure. And like we met them through having them on as a guest, just like you yeah. guys right now. So it was like it was a great show or yeah, I wouldn't so, say yeah. it was a great show. So Evan, like... Evan saw the episode we did with weapons. How did we get hap- weapons? I You reached out to Jordan, I think. Yes, because... Uh, Jordy told me about them, and I was like, okay, well, I'll I'll reach out yeah, to them. It's happens. all just like word of mouth of how we find these yeah. people, right? And if if they're a musician or interested in music or or can contribute in any way, we're like, ah, oh, fuck, you want to come talk about it for an hour and see what happens? Yeah. So we had we had weapons on. Evan from Northern Royal saw that and reached out, say, hey, can we be on your show? And we were like, uh, of course. So we had we had them on. And then from there, we just stayed in touch and started yeah, talking. We about became time. friends. Like that, that's all it is. It's the, yeah. the friendship that grew with just sitting down with you guys and getting to know you. Right. Yeah. That's all it is. So in August, on 90 episodes of bands. Uh, I think the, well, Paris, I think is on episode 12, I want to say. Yeah, and then 14. there's maybe a couple without in between there. And then it's been pretty consistent. Like maybe from episode 16 on, we so had music guests. I'm going to go with, guests. we had about They're 70 all, guests. Are they yeah. all from Canada too? Or they... Everyone is Canada except for one. Yeah. Uh, that was Chris Mar- Margell, Margell? Margell, yep. From Austria. from Austria. And the reason we had him on the show is because his album was being released through a Canadian company. Yep. So then we we got him on to talk about that one. But he was the only non-Canadian. Um, Technically Josh, but he wasn't the official guest. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. We've had guests that weren't Canadian, but it, there was a, a loophole on how like we were okay with. And it's not on. like we're we're not. We don't want to talk to uh, outside of Canada, but it's it's but we're Canadian, man. You know what I mean? We're from Saskatchewan, and. There's so much talent in Canada. There's no reason for us to go across the border. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's all fake down, down there anyway. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all of you doing bullshit. Yeah. Dude, I, I've, I think that's where the money is, though. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, that's why we don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I think uh, it's inevitable. We kind of have to make our way that way. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, so uh, moving on from the album was we put on uh, our, the first annual Moose Fest, which we had at the beginning of August. And that was a fucking success, dude. Yep. So because of the connections we've gotten through the show and made friends, we're, um, we just asked them, do you guys want to come play a set in, fucking pe- in this little town of 100 people one night? So we ended up booking four bands. It was the other way around, though. Well, it was... Yeah, there's a little bit more to that story there. So Earl Pereira, the lead singer from The Steadies. Do you guys know, have heard of The Steadies at all? I've heard of them, yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. Right? They, they were actually in BC like this, these past few weeks. The past couple of weeks. So yeah. Earl Pereira was the original. Yeah. 
center. I think I remember yeah. like, like where we uh, were just saying that we played a couple of weeks ago. I think they were playing there maybe last week or something. That that I yeah. wouldn't su- be surprised at yeah. all. They're they're yeah. fucking I think awesome. I remember being on the Victoria Event Center page. The Steadies was one of the bands. Wet Cigarette and the Steadies, maybe stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. So Earl yeah. was the original bass player for Wide Mouth Mason. If you guys remember who Wide Mouth yeah, was. Um, and the Steadies is his new band, and we've become friends. Um, I think I've known him maybe about 10 years, coming on 10 years. But anyways, um, he called me up one night in August, a Friday night, and he's like, dude, the Steadies have August 7th available. Um, you got dibs on it if you want to book us and do this fucking, he didn't say fuck it, but he's like, if you want to do this festival that you guys keep talking about, like, let's let's do it. So he kind of gave us that push, right? And I was like, well, you know, give me some time here. I'll see what I can figure out. So that was a Friday night at like 9 p.m. And by Sunday at 6, I had the Steadies, Seven Mile Sun, League of Wolves booked. We had Kit from Old Souls. And we had the the Bellevue Hall, which wasn't hard to get because it's a town of 100 people, right? Um, <laughs> so we had that all fucking booked by the Sunday. And it's like, holy shit, I guess we're doing this. We're starting it. We're doing it, right? Um, so immediately started selling tickets and getting on the news and the radio and trying to promote the shit out of it. It was so much fun, my dude. I think it, what time did 6 a.m. That 6 one was yeah. <laughs> It's a wild party, man. Too old what for that shit. Did everybody in town go? Get the so, whole see, here's the thing out of the I think there was 170 people there. There was like 14 from town. Yeah, we had people from Regina, Saskatoon, north of Prince Albert, like hours and hours away. And the locals didn't. But the the covid rules had just been lifted. So, like, understandably, people are still weary and scared. And and I get it. Right. So. But uh, it was it was a success nonetheless. And we've already got next year's being planned as we speak for sure. Nice. Yeah. So we're going to try and make it an annual thing. And you know, have bands from like, maybe you guys can come play next year. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. 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 Hell right. yeah, man. It's been, yeah. it's been a, a shit ton of fun for sure. Yeah. It's, awesome. it's funny that you do this because there were actually people showing up with blow up. Uh, <laughs> oh, I already, I already oh, no. planned what kind of headgear I'd have when I play a boot in my head. <laughs> There were definitely antlers involved. Yeah. Freaking rights, dude. Yeah. It was a good time. But yeah, that, that all started because of the podcast. Cool. Now you're going to do it annually. That's wicked. Yeah. That's the plan anyway. We have to. As long as the nation rules will allow us to do so. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. 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 We'll see. I hope, I hope by August... August 6th, we should be uh, in a lot better shape than we are now, I think. Yeah. I want to go to Mexico next year. (laughs) I'm doing this. I don't care anymore. (laughs) We'll come to Saskatchewan too. Yeah. Sure. Hell yeah, man. If I definitely am going to come see you guys if you guys make it out this way. 100%. Like, I'll be there. We're passing through. (laughs) Yeah. 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 We, so, uh, how how do you guys feel about traveling to Saskatchewan for uh, Clash at the Cap, which is uh, not a battle of the band, but it is? Well, I think we're doing Saskatchewan bands there. I was born in Alberta. That's close to we don't have the right accent. I can hear you guys. Yeah. Are I probably oh. I do not. Okay, but that, that that would get me in. I think the <laughs> accent doesn't count though, because his is French and mine is Dutch, so that's that that's out the window. Oh, yeah, no, we just got Irish accent. He's just having a slash. Singer left. Now we now we can talk shit about him while he's gone. There you go. Okay, good. Go. He did have a C-section, didn't he? Um. I was going to ask about when you guys were recording those three songs. Do you guys just do that all in house, or did you have outside help well, to we like? We really play Barnhouse Sound up in Falk, a beautiful recording studio. Amazing studio, like luxury 
recording. We stayed in the studio for a couple of days while we were up there. You walk in, it's on a farm, and you walk in, and there's like 30 foot vaulted ceilings and cedar inside and out. He's got all the amenities, kitchen there, bunk beds for the band to stay in, hot tub outside, outdoor shower. It was like staying in a resort for a couple of days. It was so nice. Holy yeah. shit. And what, what? Oh. Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, what was the name of it? Because I missed it at the start. Farnhouse. Farnhouse Sound. Farnhouse Sound Recordings. Yeah, and Qualicum. And that was the same thing as you. He reached out to us during COVID through the Instagram. And next thing you know, we're recording a song with him. And now we're three in. And yeah, yeah, we're really. Hopefully we do another one soon. Yeah. So are the rest of the songs are going to be recorded there too, or is that in a different studio? Yeah, well, we, we kind of have to. I mean, if you, if you want to put something cohesive together, we had okay. our own, we, we had a good time with Justin. Uh, yeah, he did a good job at the end, but, uh, you know, when you discuss about if you're going to do all of them, if you don't do them in the same spot, you're going to end up having a different vibe across an album, and that's not really going to be what you're looking for. Yeah, right. That's right. Agreed. And his, his recording, his, his, what he has up there was something else. I would, I would love to go back there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great facility for sure. That's like a spa for musicians, basically. It's you know, you go up there, everything's just fucking immaculate. Like, so. Right. <laughs> Hell yeah. I just, I just imagine only mellow tracks are gonna be recorded there. Yeah, well I I think generally I think when we went in there as fast hatchet, I think it was a different tone that the shit that's you know, or not the shit, the stuff that's been recorded in there. Been previously yeah. recorded there. Yeah, I think yeah. It, you know it gets a lot of solo artists, and they like it's a big surf town. There's they, hippie shit going on. Yeah, they you know they like the candles and the you know it's everybody's. <laughs> and you guys didn't burn it down. <laughs> we went in there and and made as much noise as we fucking could. Yeah, the, the walls have never seen that much grease. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I can't wait for the next songs. Right on. Yeah, we got some pretty good ones. We got some. Well, we've had some over the years, but like the guy said there, we we went with the kind of the easiest, oldest songs that we've been playing just to test everything out. But we, we're yeah. working on a couple. A couple new ones, yeah. Yeah, fairly decent ones, I think. Yeah, we can send you guys some snippets of them for sure. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. We can end the episode with, with one if you want. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Hell sure. yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll send you one from tonight. <laughs> yeah, we got we got one we're working on called White Trash Lowdown. So you can imagine what that was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, you should do that. You should record it on the phone. Record you guys like a video of you guys doing it and send yeah. us the video and I'll end the episode with that. Yeah, nice yeah, and raw. We should, send, we should send a burn because we got burn. Yeah, burn's almost up. finished. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. kind of a more punk song. Or we could send right. a before that we played really well. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll send you a whole bunch of them and you can just pick which one. Yeah. Right. You can actually, well, actually, you, you know, it's it's track. funny that you say that. It's funny you say that because we we've been trying we're trying to do this. I, I don't even want to call it a radio show, but that's kind of what it is. So on Funky Moose Records website, like we've had past guests submit songs to us so that we can play them unedited right and there's no no commercials in it so we're, we're basically doing a little read of what the song is like what the musician wants us to read what it's about and we dive right into the song and we've done one episode of those but if you guys want to submit some of those we'll fucking get them on the radio for yep. sure That's we we do know that. some people that can that can help get your stuff on the radio no matter yep. what it is awesome yeah the only downside is we're just using the zoom recorder so the quality is not right there so uh, I mean, it's okay. But it's pretty muffled. It's, it's not something we want to play on the radio. We want one of our songs from Spotify on the yeah. radio. Yeah, we yeah right, right? Yeah, for sure. But we'll definitely record one for you tonight that, that's not on the Spotify that we can put at the end of the podcast. That sounds for, sure. for sure. For yeah. sure. And and after we're done filming this, I want to. I'm going to keep you guys on because I'm going to guide you somewhere to help get those Spotify songs on the radio. But I'll tell you about that after. Um, <laughs> Well, and you know where I was going with that. Oh, one, I right? know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. <laughs> okay. Um, sweet. So then, do you guys have to? Are do you have to pay for the time that you're in there, like right now? Yeah, we rent yeah. from seven to eleven. But like our old jam space, we paid for three hours, and this is almost the same price, and we get four hours. So it, oh. it's not. It's all good. Every, every oh, right. So you get an hour with us, and then you still yeah. get your three hours 
of jam time. Yeah, we never play for three hours. Yeah, the, the drummer doesn't play. For <laughs> yeah, I got tired. <laughs> we, we got real stuff to go to in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a a normal band thing, though. Like when bands get together in a in a re rehearsal space, it's usually uh. I don't know. They got to get their inspiration. An, an hour of bullshitting and then out eight, of the cooler, out of the fridge. Of actual rehearsal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's always stories flying around what happened at work today. What's this? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, for yeah. sure. So, what what are your you guys' day jobs? Um, well, I work in construction. I do wiring. So, not like an electrician, but everything an electrician doesn't do. All the sound, cameras, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I work in civil construction. I, I do underground utilities, sewer, drain, water, hydro, electrical, all those kind of fun things. I'm a ditch digger. <laughs> yeah, I'm in, I'm in tech and I do uh, sales for like a uh, online advertising company. I uh, I got a, a small residential construction company and and uh, chicken start. <clears throat> Hell yeah! So it's pretty oh. much a, a yeah a nail banger. Plugging around in the mud with a like, bunch of laborers and one of us that was smart enough to not do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty these, much, these yeah. guys pick outdoor jobs. We pick indoor jobs. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Huh. Um, yeah right? you guys... I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys like work with like a, a, a group of other people? Like if you're like building the house or doing the plumbing, like is there a crew there or is it just you like solo? Oh no, there's always in the same space Everybody right so, together. yeah right and what are the people you work with machines. everyone gets the fuck out of my way yeah 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 there you go do the yeah, people you, you work with do they stuff. listen to the music at all like what do they say oh yeah i'm always playing it on job sites and people are rocking out to it it's always oh, yeah. great key reactions <laughs> like that yeah I, I was showing the boys banquets today Cause that's that that was my favorite out of the three that we have on Did they like it? Yeah, I I got a new new kid that's working working for me right now, uh, twenty nine or something. So he's pretty pretty heavy into the you know the harder rock kind of thing. So I, he he was taking banquets for sure. Yeah, yeah. half of them quit. <laughs> I like I work with uh, a number of number of different like tech companies. So you know I was we had like a big crew of uh, different companies. Staff from other companies come up to our show and last time, so it was, it was nice to get. Right. Band too. Yeah, it's it's the one that always has the followers coming along. It's we uh, Lenny and B Dog there. We we get maybe one or two each, and it's all it's all the guys that we've known ever since we were in diapers kind well, of thing. And we're going to went ten thirty on a Wednesday. Yeah, Fuck you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a day off. <laughs> we're also last slot on a Wednesday. That's not a great time. Yeah. yeah. Well, headline. Headliners, yeah. Headliners. <laughs> headliners, baby. Yeah. That was right funny. On. They told us you're going up last. And we're like, sweet, headlining. And they're like, actually, no, you're just going up last. There's no headliners here. <laughs> well, <I think> <laughs> we were like, oh, okay. It's just a word, man. Just a word. Yeah. Well, I think we burned I think we burned the bridge with a couple of our friends there over the years, you know, because we were we were just doing, say, like open mics and right. shit like that. So we tell them all we're playing at whatever Logan's. whatever venue and yeah <clears throat> we go out there and you know we've got nine tracks or something to play but they only give us fucking three and it's you know you're you're coming on after Susie songbird and fucking you know that yeah. kind of shit and you're setting all your gear up and then it's just a wall of sound where every move buddy moves to the back of the fucking yeah, venue trying to go for a spot. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so uh, so we'd always try to drag our friends out so now it's when we tell them actually we got a we got a show to go to then it's uh then it's one of those things. Ah, well, I gotta get up early in the morning. I gotta, you know, fucking here come to the sack. <laughs> but because of all this, we've matched a plan. We're gonna tell them that we have a show in Vancouver, so they all like come for this big show, and the show is gonna be in Nanaimo. They're gonna get a bunch of babysitters and go that way, and we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll send, them, send them to a different fucking venue. <laughs> what the we're gonna send them to the gay bar in Vancouver. <laughs> Oh, that's hard. awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah so where is it where 
our like our listeners, not that we have a whole shit ton, I'm going to be honest with you guys, but yep. there are some out there. Where can we direct them to find you guys and your music? Like we know on Spotify for sure. Yeah. On all streaming services. Or Apple Music, Deezer, Title. whatever. Any of those. Title. We're on everything. Spotify is the only one I know. So I do. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> yeah. If you don't have Spotify, well, then you can't. Amazon, we're on anything that has a heartbeat and streams. We're on it. But then if you want to like just like tune in sometimes hear some of the jams we play, we yeah. on, we, we post lots of stuff on our Insta. Yeah, our Instagram's our main social yeah. for sure. Every couple of weeks we do a jam song. We have it's been a few weeks now since we had the show and we haven't been here for a while. But uh we'll record a song and I'll post it on the Facebook and on the Instagram. Instagram will let you do a minute. And that's it. Yeah. So I usually have to do it twice so that if you're on the Facebook, you can actually watch the whole song. So if anyone ah. follows us on Facebook and Instagram, you hear a lot more from us because we always post new stuff and do different things. Every nice. couple of weeks, we like to keep it fresh. Yeah. Just well, yeah. Like I said, browser. Yeah. Like that's more. I. I don't even know how I ended up stumbling across you guys. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'd almost feel guilty taking away, you away from some of your jam time here. That's cool. Yeah. Well, we got one thing. We're going to so let me grab something here. We have something special planned for the end of your podcast. Shout out to Muse Canada because they've been featuring some of our podcast episodes yes. on their website. Yes. Um, we want to thank you guys for that. For those of you listening out there, if you're a musician or your uh you know in the in the arts in the, like film music paint anything anything in the arts and you guys want to connect you don't know where you're going what to do who to talk to um check out muse canada for example sorry to interrupt but for example you are a videographer and you need music then muse can help you connect to musicians that can make music for your videos there you go kurt Dahl from uh, one bad son. He's affiliated with them too. So if you have any legal questions um, that need to be addressed, I mean, you can get to Kurt through Muse Canada as well. Yeah. Um, so just stuff like that, you guys. Uh, give give him a look. See, definitely. Thank you guys for the featured videos. 100%. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is for you, man, and for the new one. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Open her up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, I've seen this one. Yeah. We had some actual band gear made up for his baby. It's going to be our youngest band. Yeah. Oh, holy fuck. Oh, boy. Yeah. Nice. Hold it up to a little more to your right there. Oh, that's fucking deadly, fellas. Are they all the same? As he broke his back. Here, I got one of each too, so you can just sh tell Coral there's only one of each and yeah. hide the other ones. Yeah, so yeah, if she cool. throws it out or something, yeah, yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> just show it right back up. Can you guys see that? Yes, sir. Fucking nice. Dope, eh? nice. Fuck, that might fit me in the video, uh, boys. <laughs> With the wig on, <laughs> Fuck yeah, boys. nice one. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Thanks, so we just wanted to present Dave with that so he'd feel awkward at the end of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I'll put the description to like your platforms in in the, the description to this video. I know I fucked up. I fucked <laughs> that up, right? I'll put the links to the descriptions in no. this video. Fuck me. You put the you'll put the links in the descriptions below this video. Sure. You'll do the That's what I'll do. Yeah. You'll do put the link here, it'll be good. Yeah. Right on. So I'm uh yeah, we'll we'll end the episode with some music from you guys. We really appreciate you guys here. I don't know why I'm fucking stuttering, dude. I must be tired or something. <laughs> must be the drinks. Who knows? Um I I seriously do appreciate you guys spending some time with us tonight. I yep. do want to meet you guys in person. Yep. And I also want to let you know that you are part of the Moose family now. So well, anything, yeah. anytime you guys want to come on the show. Just shoot the shit, hang out with us. Fucking hey, dude. Um, just reach out. Let us know, man. And we'd be more than happy to have you guys on again. Anytime. Sweet. 
Sounds good. Yeah, really appreciate it. Thanks yeah, for the time. Thanks. It was a lot of fun. Thank you Thanks, for the guys. opportunity. Right on. We're on. How's it going out there? COVID friendly live stream. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. A little stage like mama. <laughs> Oh, my God.